this has nothing to do with election integrity. This is about racial control, and this is not new. Today, Republicans are so afraid of democracy that they want to disenfranchise predominantly black voters who have been disenfranchised for as far back as when black people were enslaved in the United States of America. Now, what we are seeing here introduced by the other side of the aisle um, is to pass legislations that would, legislation that would strip the DC government and its residents of their ability to determine the rules that govern their elections. So let's take a look at the policies that the District of Columbia has passed that are now under threat. Ms. Weiser, DC residents can register on the same day and vote, correct? That is correct. And how long has same day registration been in place in the District of Columbia? Um, I believe it's been in place for a decade. 10 years, a decade. And in 2020, the DC General Auditor found uh, that in its audit of the 2020 election, that same day registration came with, quote, no evidence of fraud or glitches. Yet despite this, the legislation before us would eliminate same day registration. And in your testimony, you stated that eliminating same day registration after 10 years of successful use would serve no valid purpose. So I ask you, given that the legislation here being presented by the Republican side of the aisle um, would be to eliminate it, what possible reason could we, could there be to eliminate same day registration when it's been so successful and so devoid of fraud? I can't think of any valid reason to eliminate this pro-voter reform that's working well in states across the country and has been working well in DC for a decade. There is no valid reason. In fact, this ACE Act, as Republicans are calling it, eliminates this provision. And um, we're also seeing that, they, that DC recently passed a provision to send mail ballots to voters to improve voter access while maintaining the security of their elections. They want to eliminate that as well. And as you testified today, DC's most recent elections have been among the best run in the nation. So what potential reason could there be to eliminate uh, sending mail-in ballots to voters? There is no good reason to eliminate that as well. DC, there are eight other states that um, have this policy in place and some for decades. This has um, also been shown to be fraud free and provide voters with reasonable options and convenience in voting. Um, and it has led to both greater voter turnout and more secure elections. So we have heard from experts that there is no valid reason to be eliminating same-day registration, mail-in ballots. If there is no valid reason, I think it stands to conclude that the only real reason um, that we see this push is political. It's a political reason. And in one of the blackest cities of America, to have, and to even have the idea of proposing the federal government strip voting rights in one of the blackest cities in this country that has a history of enslavement, a history of that, a, a history of uh, freed people seeking refuge here and then being punished with disenfranchisement. This cuts to the core of not just the present moment, but American history. I think what is striking about this is how afraid the other side of the aisle is of free and fair elections. And last year, Republicans were so afraid of a fully representative democracy in the District of Columbia that they insisted on denying the people of DC statehood. We have to look no further than an explanation from Senator John Tyler Morgan of Alabama, a former Confederate and uh, slaveholder who said at the time, quote, in the face of this influx of a black population from the surrounding states, Congress found it necessary to disenfranchise every man in the District of Columbia in order thereby to get rid of this load, quote unquote, of black suffrage that was flooded in upon them. That is the true statement. History cannot be reversed. No man can misunderstand it. Straight verbatim from history. And it is shameful to see that recreated today. I yield back.